welcome to part 7 of Resident Evil 2! And yes, I'm back here again. I want my revenge! This puzzle made me look stupid. But on the bright side, it's at least the bronze statue is right in its rightful place. I just gotta only put the silver statue in the right place, that's all. Punk ass statues. Hate this puzzle. Anyway, let's push the statue. Push the statue. And the statue is pushed. Voila! Plot MacGuffin. Yeah! Let's just open this plot. We'll take this plot, MacGuffin. And go! So now I have the plot MacGuffin I tried to get in the last part. On with plot! Ha! There's nobody here. I killed all the zombies here. Awesome. Just awesome. Open the door and... Let us just go through this hallway here. And open the door. Now, I wonder what the hell was upstairs. I'm pretty sure there was something upstairs. The music's getting tense the more I go into certain rooms. So what's in here? Let's go in this room and let's see what's going on in here. Oh no. You've got to be kidding me. Liquors? Really? Uh, no. I will be dealing with you guys later. Much, much later. Oh, and that floor's been destroyed so I can't go back there. Great. Back down the stairs I go. Damn tank controls. Murph! Looks like we'll be going through the double doors. And... Open! Cop! Zombies! Die! Die! Don't get any closer to me! Oh, there's just too many zombies here. Yay! I still have bullets left. Die! Die, you worthless! I shot it in the knee and it's still dying. No, well, it's not like dying. Damn. I, I should aim for the head, not the kneecaps. Uh, there's just two more zombies I just need to kill, that's all. And that one too. Are they dead? Are they gonna get up? No, they're not gonna get up. Good. Damn zombies. Okay, now that the emergency ladder's been pushed, now we can climb up here anytime. Great. Just making sure that, that that was just a pop, just in case. Yeah, I remember part two and part three I got bitten by zombies that were lying on the ground playing dead. So let's go here. Ooh! Sparkly item. I'll take it. A lighter! I'm gonna need that! You know what? I need to put my ink up. But first... Oh! More ink! Lovely! Let's... Put that up somewhere. Anyway, Secretary's Diary A! Really? What's in here? 
I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. The, when the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off screaming at me never to touch that statue again. If it's so important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. Really? I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are from are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know why, which is the bigger mystery, where he finds these things or where he's getting the money to pay for them. I was a surprise to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person getting hanged. I was appalled by the kept going expression on the chief's face as he leered at it no leered at the painting. Why anybody would consider that something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. My dear, I'm surprised you didn't get raped, considering the chief's background. Uh, let's put the ink up because I need some uh, space. Or then we won't put the ink up and we just go downstairs. Doesn't matter. But still, I feel sorry for that secretary to have to put up with someone like Chief Irons. I would have a third eye. Trust me. Knowing darn well a sexual harasser would be working there every single day. And also collecting creepy pictures like that. Just no. As a, in fact, I would put in my two weeks notice. So, let's go through this hallway and revel in the fact that there's not a liquor here. Ha ha, I blew you up with my grenade launcher. You're dead. You're gone. But there's still that blood stain on the floor. Ah oh, well, they'll clean it up after the zombie apocalypse is over. Somebody has to. Hmm. What's in these double doors, I wonder? It must be something of valued importance. And... Go... Ooh! Operation report. The raccoon... Police department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured, even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. You guys suck at this. We decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to, to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to, the due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On that very day, before the zombies attack, he made a decision to relocate all the weapons to scatter intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. You ass! Unfortunately, this decision has been has made it difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these munitions, to unlock the weapon storage. As stated earlier, it would be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable apply, supply of still remain in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electric locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become top priority to restore the power in the locks and secure the room. David Ford, Recorder. Goddamn, Chief Iron's just stupid. 1 p.m. The West 
barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Recorder David Ford. Wait a minute. Wait, three additional people were killed in the f following the sudden appearance of an as of yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor sharp claws. However, it is most distinguishing characteristics is its lance like tongue. That thing we just blew up not too long ago. Capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Lickers. And are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Blow it up with a grenade launcher, you idiots! My god, these people are stupid! And the 12 people that were injured in the confiscation room? Chances are they've become zombies! Oh my god. Raccoon City is royally screwed with police officers like them. This is RVMan985. See you guys in part 8.